We move to the culmination of a year of spectacular journalism and to the high point of tonight, it is the presentation of the Gold Quill. And to present the Gold Quill for 2019, please welcome to the stage Professor Brett Hutchins, Head of the School for Media, Film and Journalism at Monash University, our principal sponsor. And to the Gold Quill Chief Judge, Heidi Murphy from 3AW. Howdy. Uh, if I could start this evening by saying uh, what a wonderful job Alicia Loxley has done. <laughs> Come out! <laughs> Michael Rowland, wherever you are, I hope you've been taking notes. Look how well we're going for time. Uh, but also, seriously, thank you, Michael, for the excellent voice work you've done for us this evening. Um, brilliantly done. If we could uh, clap for that too. <laughs> Now, it is wonderful to be here tonight recognising some of the very best in our industry, but uh, as Alicia said at the start of the night, bittersweet as well to be doing it in this week where we have lost some of the best in our industry, or they will be losing their jobs by the middle of the year. Um, if there are any AAP journalists in the room or uh, watching this later, please know that while you might be anonymous to the, the people who have been consuming your copy for so many years, seeing your pictures, reading your words, those of us in this room who do day-to-day -day journalism know just how valuable you have been, how hard you have worked, and uh, how big a hole you will leave for us to have to fill. Now, on behalf of the Melbourne Press Club, congratulations to each of the individual category winners tonight. Uh, you can all rightly be very proud of your work. I want to offer my congratulations to, to the finalists tonight and say also, you know, well done to anyone who put an entry in, who felt proud enough of their work, whether it's something you cobbled together at the last minute and got to air, or something you spent days, weeks, months, years working on, crafting, piecing together, investigating, whatever it is, it's wonderful to be a part of this. Please be proud of your work. Please put your entries in, write them. The second you air them or print them or uh, broadcast them, um, write your entries then and there. Get them in for next year so that we can have another wonderful night like this celebrating some really terrific, terrific work. On to the gold quill. As uh, you, many of you will know, it is selected from 32 of the individual category winners. Everything is in the mix, and I say absolutely everything. My fellow judges, uh, John Fain, who I don't think is here tonight, uh, and uh, Tom Salem, we had some robust discussions. We had a fair bit of debate uh, between us before selecting our eventual winner tonight. Uh, we were asked to consider the originality of the piece of work, the impact of the piece of work, the investigative skills, the quality of the work, the initiative shown, and the platform that the piece was used on. Uh, it was um, broadcast or uh, was printed on. Now, uh, as I say, there was quite some debate. I think it is uh, a winner we'll be talking about for some time, but I am not here to announce it. That is the job of uh, Brett, who I'll introduce in a moment. To our principal sponsors, Virgin Australia and Monash University, thank you for your ongoing support and thank you for your generous support of particularly the Gold Quill. And now here to open the envelope and announce this year's Gold Quill winner from Monash, Monash, the head of the School of Media, Film and Journalism, Professor Brett Hutchins. It's, a, it's an honour to be here and um, actually to hold an envelope that actually means a great deal. Um, Monash University became a principal sponsor um, of the Melbourne Press Club in 2018 with the relationship between Monash, 
the School of Media, Film and Journalism and, and the club dating back to 2008 when Phil Chubb, the former Vice President and award-winning journalist, joined Monash after an illustrious career in the news industry. And just as during his journalism career, Phil became a much admired and valued academic colleague and he's someone I genuinely miss working with. Um, thank you. He was a, a tireless advocate um, for, for the value of journalism for citizens and the public and he really dedicated his time with students and indeed colleagues and many academics who um, sometimes need convincing through repeated arguments um, that really journalism is actually one of the, the, the key ways that democracies, political systems and societies function and that we certainly know the difference when news and journalism isn't able to be done or isn't done well. And his commitments mirrored by the people in this room and indeed uh, many of my colleagues here from Manash who are here tonight for the tireless work they, they do in training up young journalists um, and it's really lovely to see a, a table of student journalists here. Um, and many uh, former students, and it's always a pleasure to run into them. I also want to point to something that the university system, and I think news and journalism shares in common at this moment in time, and that's a shared commitment to the value of fact-based knowledge, um, debate, and a healthy civil society. Um, and while at the start of my career I would have found it difficult to believe I'd be standing here arguing that that's something needs to be thought about and defended, it's where we find ourselves and the work done by people in this room helps achieve that and certainly is a lot more useful to the world than certainly what wing nuts on some parts of the internet would say or I dare say even some parts of federal parliament. Um, in effect, without that commitment we are nowhere and Monash is proud to play a role in training journalists, supporting this event, and indeed supporting news that is compelling, entertaining, and which speaks truth to power and never forgets the powerless. And the awards handed out tonight are testament to these qualities. Now, in the spirit of those qualities, it is an honour to announce that the winner of the 2019 Gold Quill is... Michael Wilson of AFL Media for the kick. For the first time in 25 years, the Gold Pill judges have chosen to recognise the journalism behind the lens. This is a photo for the ages, and one that will be long remembered. One that turned the tide of public commentary on women's football, women in sport generally, and even encouraged a focus on attitudes towards women across society. Published around the world, Michael Wilson's perfectly framed snap triggered a global social media storm and sparked a national conversation that would otherwise never have happened. This high quality, carefully selected image froze forever an emblematic moment in women's sport, one that has also been immortalised in a bronze statue. And importantly, this unforgettable image of Taylor Harris has helped fuel the significant growth in the number of young women joining up to play footy. Okay, <laughs> totally unprepared for this. Um, what a massive honour. Um, absolutely humbled to have won this. Was not expecting this at all. Um, thank you to the Melbourne Press Club for putting on the awards tonight. Um, congratulations to all the other nominees and winners tonight as well. Um, <sighs> I'm just quite overwhelmed by this. It's, um, <laughs> when I first took this photograph, I, I just actually thought it was just an amazing picture of an elite female athlete playing our great game. I thought nothing more of it. Um, it went on to define so much more. It, it started conversations that were probably well overdue. Um, I guess it highlighted uh, online bullying and the stance that we had to make against it and um, yeah for, for this image to be a symbol of that is is really so 
humbling and I'm just actually really overwhelmed to win this. I did not expect this tonight, so um, thanks very much. A huge congratulations to Michael, an incredible image and what a remarkable achievement. And of course, congratulations to all of our winners tonight. As Heidi said, it isn't an, e an easy thing to decide who is going to take home the gold quill and there were so many worthy recipients. And so congratulations to everyone, as Heidi said, who was nominated, who put an entry in, but also uh, who took home quills tonight. Please put your hands together for all of our winners tonight.